Hello my friends, today I'm doing a different kind of videos, a video where I highlight a few speakers you probably never would have interest in or they are too expensive or not your style. Strange speakers, strange speakers. And when I see speakers, I'm going to check out what kind of speakers they are, you know, and for one reason, I say, okay, I skipped this one. And this is one of them. Not sure if I am doing the right thing because the maximum bit is 170 euro. So for maximum 200 euros, you can score these, these, these speakers, maybe for even for 180. And these are big speakers, you know. And the guy who is selling these speakers is this guy. What's this? Remember... When I bought my uh, Advanced Acoustic XA160, you remember that video? Um, this guy just bought a new Monitor Audio Gold 205 g speakers. Expensive speakers, my friends. So, the white one, the older model, according to the owner, is better as the newer model, but the newer model is more nicer. Yeah. I, I mean, the, the finish is beautiful, my friend. Okay, he had uh, two speakers. He had a previous model from uh, Monitor Audio, and this guy told me he preferred the sound of the previous model. Okay. This guy often buy stuff not brand new. This was a demo model, what he bought, so he didn't pay uh, the full price. He wait. He have the patience to wait until uh, prices uh, dropped. Prices drop because there comes a new model, or it is a demo, or uh, somebody bought it and it is just not over a year in the shop and resell it again. This is this is how, what this guy buy. Because okay, first I'm going to show you this. Beautiful. Beautiful, and I heard the sound, and guys, <laughs> this is fantastic. So, I bought this set, and this guy, he's, he's from Poland, he lives close to my house, uh, about um, 20 kilometers, yeah, and I bought this set from him very cheap, <laughs> 11.50, he, he, he paid more, he paid, I saw this, what he, he paid 1400 for the set. And just a few months after he bought the set, he resell it. He was not satisfied with the sound. And, um, okay, that's his personal choice. And so this guy is always buying and selling with loss. Yeah? Because he lost on that advanced acoustic. And one time, uh, before I bought this set with him, I bought, I was interested in these speakers. The Magnat Transpo, yeah, and a few years ago, this speaker came new. Well, came new, and uh, I'm gonna show you one video from uh, Nicholas Nico Style Hi Fi Man. I like this this guy's videos. This this big are these speakers? They they are enormous big speakers, and uh, they were not expensive, you know. And uh, this is what you pay for, for these speakers, 400 euro. When they were new, they were 500 euro new a, a piece, so 1,000 euro the pair. That's not very expensive for new speakers, my friends. But uh, then I saw an ad in Belgium that uh, that dealer was selling a second-hand pair, so they were just out. They were just out a few months. After a few months, they came out. Uh, that dealer in Belgium um, sold these speakers secondhand. And he bought them because a few months after that, he was reselling these speakers for a much lower price. So I, I knew what he paid for these speakers. So when I, I, I was seriously interested in buying these speakers for, I think I could have them for 550 euro, you know. Uh, when I called him at that moment, 
And I asked him, so why, why are, are you reselling? He told me, yeah, they are too big. My wife do not like these big speakers. Of course, he could not say the truth. When I bought the advanced acoustic set, yeah, when I bought the advanced acoustic set from him, he told me the truth. He did not like the sound. Yeah. But I already decided not to buy this Magnat Transpulse because I read, I read some uh, German forums where I could read that these speakers were nothing special. You know, they are huge, beautiful. I mean, beautiful. Watch this, my friends. Beautiful, huge, uh, vintage, with a vintage look speakers. But the sound was not special. And that's why I decided not to buy, uh, not to buy them. And, and if you like, uh, uh, speakers, this guy, uh, Nico style hi-fi man, uh, he is not that big with only 2,000, 2,700 subscribers. I have 28,000 subscribers, but uh, I like his videos. I like his videos. And, uh, because uh, the, this guy is a speaker lover, my friends. Anyway, um, so I decided not to buy them because of the, well, the reviews, the reviews from persons who bought these speakers and they were not happy. Yeah. So, but when I came to his house, his house, this, this, this Polish guy, he lives in Spikenes, uh, close to my house, 20 kilometers, I just told you. I bought this advanced acoustic for only 1150 euro because this is, this is this guy, the, the, the guy is like this. He always losing money on when he buys stereo because he, I think he buys, he buys wrong. He buys wrong. What I mean, but he buys wrong. He, I mean, if you, if you are, he is audiophile. Yeah. Because he, he uses thick cables, things like this, you know, and I know he paid much money for this monitor audio gold 205 G's. I, I, he spent a lot of money for audio stuff, but in a way he is never happy with the sound. So he keeps changing, you know, and I mean, if you buy cheap stuff uh, and every time you, you, you resell, you, you make a little profit or you, you lose a little bit, then you can switch often. But this guy switch often and he lose always a lot of money, you know, because he only lost on this advanced acoustic set 300 euro because I saw the, no, 250 euro. I saw the, the, the ticket he, he paid for these speakers, he, he or the set, he paid 1400 for the set. And, uh, same, same thing counts for that Magna Transpulse. I knew what he was, what he paid for these speakers and what he was resigning them. He lost 150 euros, you know, on that deal. Uh, if you do not know what you're buying and I advise everybody, to go to a shop like this. This is Frequence. Yeah. It is, is a Dutch shop and they only sell second hand, but they sell high end second hand. I don't know if you remember this video, but this is what this audio is his life, you know, and uh, only if audio is your life, you can come with the idea to make your shop like this. Hey, this, this is, this is vintage. You know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna spin this video completely, but you have to, this is a video from April 15 this year, best audio shop in second hand. You have to watch that video again. Um, these guys have pay, are patient. And, uh, if you, if you can always, you know, I mean, if, if audio is your hobby, you know, spend one evening a week or one evening in two weeks or in, in, in one month, go to that shop, you know, and ask this guy, can you connect this, this amplifier on these speakers? They have plenty of speakers over there. And maybe you go a few times, you're not satisfied, maybe four times, maybe the fifth times you are, you are satisfied with the speakers. And maybe you think, well, Nothing what I heard satisfied me. And you can go back 
after a year maybe they have new stuff you know new speakers because they are changing speakers all the times and amplifiers then it would will not cost you nothing in the end it will not cost you nothing because in the end you will only buy what you like but now this guy is buying stuff and he paid top dollar for 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 the things he buy i mean i i am a different buyer i'm a cheap buyer everybody knows if you watch my video i'm a cheap buyer i always pay far below the the market value my friends i'm not stupid yeah but this guy he pays and i understand he, this this guy do not have the time you know to like me or uh, i'm not sure why he he is i mean if if you buy most of most of the time if you buy new stuff or almost new stuff yeah um you don't buy that stuff for for six months you know you buy that stuff for a few years you know because as, as soon as if, if you buy new in the shop brand new as soon as you buy new stuff you know that if you're going to resell it after six months you, 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 you lose a lot of money he doesn't buy new he buy uh, a few months old you know uh, demo model or when when they have new models and the old models go out this is how this guy is buying but also that is you know uh, how to resell those magna transpools now he's selling this and then i'm not sure what he paid for it but i'm 100 percent convinced he paid too much and if you um gonna go on google what are these speakers these these altis 300 yeah they are selling now for uh, 380 euro the piece, yeah. And they also Tonsil. This is the brand Tonsil. Also make these speakers, yeah. They, all, they even have a sub over here. They are they are not expensive, and um, uh, these are 380 euro. I'm not sure if you get two of them. Yeah, you get two of them. You get two of them for 380 euro. This is the price you pay now for these speakers, and they are huge. They are 40 centimeters wide. Uh, the magna transpools were bigger; they were wider. Uh, but these one are 40 centimeters wide. 33 centimeters deep and 90 centimeters high. This is an old-fashioned vintage style looking uh, speaker. And what I read over here that uh, the Alto sets are made for rock and disco music enthusiasts. Yeah, so these are not very delicate sounding speakers you know, more for the, the rockers and the disco guys you know they have a frequency response from 30 to 18,000 hertz and that is strange uh, most modern speakers do not drop below 20,000 hertz so i'm not sure what kind of tweeter these guys use anyway this is the frequency response they weigh 24 4 kilo each and this is the power handling maximum power from 300 watt yeah okay when i see the specs and i read this thing then i know i will never buy them but this guy bought them and he heard the sound and he wants to get rid of them as soon as possible so this is the first pick i wanted to show you this uh Altus 300. I do not advise you. Yeah, if you are a rocker, you 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 only want to have loud music in your house, and maybe these are speakers for you. But uh, I would never buy them. You know, I was only interesting in the speakers for my channel. But I think why would I spend 170 or 180 euro for these speakers and they are hard to resell again because this guy tries already since 16 august uh, since 9 august so one month he tried to resell them and his maximum bid is 170 euros so i will never buy them but i was doubting a little bit but yeah um, then i came to the conclusion no i'm not going to buy them so this is the first speaker from this polish guy
who is a audiophile and is you know he always make the wrong buys he he, he 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 is smart enough not to buy them new but as you know demo model or going out of the model is going out of the out of stock you know or uh, uh, just uh, a few months old when a buyer do not like the sound and he return that those speakers to the shop and he he all his stuff he buys he buys uh, with a bond with a with a ticket from dealers so the magnet transpools he also bought from a dealer you know because the dealer took those speakers back and the guy bought some other speakers you know and he got some money back and this is how this guy buy and I, I think he can better go to that to that shop I showed you. I showed you this shop, you know, frequency. Do some tests over there with different kinds of speakers, different kind of amplifiers. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> that's the best way if you if you want to spend money because these guys do not sell the cheap stuff. They they sell expensive stuff because they have quality stuff. But uh, then you know, okay, these speakers, man, these speakers. But I never saw an audio shop like this, you know. And What's these speakers? These, <laughs> these guys sell some serious speakers, some serious tube amplifiers, some serious, uh, well, everything what they sell is serious, but, but second hand, so much cheaper than you would buy new in the shop, you know. And uh, I would advise, if you are a guy like this, you know, I'm not like him. I'm not like him. I, I mean, <laughs> I always find the cheap things. But if you are like him, better find where you live. There will always be a shop, you know, where they sell secondhand stuff. This shop is really, I never saw a shop like this in the Netherlands. I will... I will go back. I will go back. I promise this guy to make a view reviews from things from them in the future as soon as I have time, because I am welcome. That is, a, they are very nice, nice, nice persons over there, and I like to go back to that shop. So I will go back to make some, uh, some, some reviews, some listening sessions, you know. So the next speakers I want to show you are these ones, the Spirula. Do it yourself, <laughs> and by do it yourself is a meaning that you have to print them out. So <laughs> you have to have that print uh, uh, machine. And there's a very nice video from this uh, these speakers how you can make them yourself. And this is this is this guy uses Chinese <laughs> Chinese drivers from Audio Labs. I mean, come on, man, if you're going to use speakers for your, well, for your self-made speakers, you're going to use, not Audio Lab, no, you're going to use Viva, Perlus, or ScanSpeak, they are expensive, but ScanSpeak are the best, or Seas, you know, I mean, but you're not going to use Audio Lab drivers in, in, in your self-made speakers, I mean, yeah, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I do not know this this brand, and maybe they are terrific sounding speakers. But yeah, I mean, if I would make my speakers, my I would I would use ScanSpeak or yeah, ScanSpeak. I, I think that, that those are the best, you know. Anyway, this is what he used. This amplifier he used as the amplifier. It's a very nice, very nice video, and this is a sprinter. But of course, most of us, I don't have, I don't have, do not have a printer. Simon have a printer. Not sure if Simon have a printer big like this, but he have a printer. And this is, this is, this is. Check my reality reviews on my channel. For printing these speakers in any wood filament, slow printing speed is a way to go, as high print speed can lead to the nozzle clogs. You have to, to you have to go lot. to that to this video. Very nice video, 3D printed, and this is how he printed his 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 own speakers and uh nice 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 very nice video this is a very nice video 
and I only do not understand why he used those cheap Chinese. Well, I'm not sure if they they are bad speakers, but you know, if you, you make these speakers, yeah, okay, okay. This is this is a very interesting. If if you if you are a handy guy, you like to work with your hands. It is nice to make your own speakers. Okay, I will never do this. Probably you are also not that type. Okay, but now now. You can buy them second hand. I mean, people want to get rid. They have a new, a new job. They have a new. They're gonna make new speakers, and they want to sell the old speakers they made. Okay, then you can buy. And the, the I, I, I offered fifty euro. I offered fifty euro not because I'm interested. I'm not, I'm, I'm not interested in these speakers. I mean, uh, you know, if you're gonna read those forums, yeah. Yeah, here you can see the price, 1,061 euro <laughs> or dollar, you know, if you want to buy them new. But uh, here is a guy, here is a guy, and uh, he talks about how good these speakers sound. And uh, Okay, here, just, they are passive satellite speakers with a versatile tree inch range driver which has been designed for minimum distortion and high accuracy uh, and you will find it hard not to impress by the caliber of audio they are capable for delivering well i do not believe that i do not believe that maybe when 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 they place scan speak uh, drivers in that maybe it can have a nice sound maybe it can have a nice sound yeah but you know what what can you expect from a three inch driver and a two liter housing because it is only two liter you know uh, speakers need space yeah you can also find these same speakers the same form a little bit bigger with a four inch driver okay a four inch driver is better than a three inch driver and Okay, design-wise, I would say these are beautiful, beautiful speakers. I mean, they are beautiful. Especially, especially, yeah, if you can buy them for, I mean, I am, I bet 50 euro, the highest bid is 60. <laughs> and this guy spent maybe 1,000 euro for them, not sure. He printed them then. No, he didn't. He didn't spend one thousand euro. If you want to buy them new like this, they will cost you one thousand euro. But this guy printed them himself, so maybe it costed him the drivers. These are not scan speak drivers from one hundred euro. No, these are drivers from maybe forty euro a piece, thirty to forty euro a piece maximum. So. Not sure how much he spent in making them, but they are looking very nice. What's this? They are looking very nice. Beautiful, beautiful looking speakers, my friends. I mean, high glossy white. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Not sure. This is this. Not sure what kind of BMW speakers. Not sure what you have in the back. And. So if you can buy these speakers for a low price, I mean, under 100 euro, yeah, because nobody else, serious audio lovers, do not see the power of these speakers. And you change, you change these drivers in scan speak drivers, then maybe you can have a very nice sounding speaker, but not, do not expect, like this guy is writing over here, that uh, they are uh, very, very good speakers. I mean, uh, boosting a quality drive of deep time Spirula speakers, 640 euro, okay, deliver an impeccable audio performance. I do not believe that. That needs to be heard to believe, driven by a three full range drive with a bam bamboo fiber paper cone structured sun to pimps around blah 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 and the drivers delivers impressive impressive response from 75 to 20,000 hertz well you need a sub a subwoofer for these speakers you know you know without a sub 
these speakers will not make you happy. So you need a sub. And maybe with that sub, I'm not sure, but I do not believe the story they are writing here. This is a this is a story to sell to sell these speakers. So I do not believe this 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 story. Yeah. But if you want to have something special, um, I think they are beautiful speakers. <laughs> They are eye-catching in your living room, and uh, with that shape of that uh, sea creature. Okay, nice. Okay, the next, uh, enough of the speakers, yeah. Next speaker, what I'm going to highlight today is uh, these speakers. The Tannoy 615-2, yeah. And they have now the highest bit from 350 euro, yeah. They have a weight from 21 kilo each. They are 900 or 79 centimeters in, 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 in height and a sensitivity from 92 decibel, yeah, 10 to 175 watt. And these speakers are from Tanoi. This is how they are looking. I think, I think they, you know, if, if, if you want vintage, this is not vintage. This is ugly. For me, they are ugly. Maybe they can sound good, you know, but there are plenty, plenty uh, vintage speakers what can sound good, but they are not as ugly as this. These are just ugly. In my, in, maybe you think, oh no, and these are beautiful speakers. Yeah, okay. This is a matter of taste. Maybe you like this, the, 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 the size of these speakers. They were called the sixes because they have, they have a square speaker, have only four well, four, four sides, and these have six sides, that's why they were called sixes. I made a video, this video, in uh, October 2014, so seven years ago, I bought the, his little brother, because uh, you see sixes, uh, and this is, this, is, this is the video. I think I like this speaker sound. Uh, well, they are bookshelves. I never have bookshelves. I sometimes buy them to review them, but uh, well, I don't like the lack of bass. These things start with 55 hertz, yeah, and the uh, the highs are okay. They go up till 35,000 hertz, and that's pretty much. But they weigh 7 kilogram, and look at this marble effect. Very nice on top of this speaker. Yeah. <laughs> and this was a nice story because I bought these speakers cheap. And I always have a story for you guys. I always have a story for you. I like those stories I'm telling you. And this guy who was selling these speakers to me was a little bit stupid. <laughs> because when I came to his house and he tested these speakers... I only heard bass, and the reason why was this. Because, look at this. He had them like this. So, very stupid. He had them like this. Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> and that was my luck, because somebody think the speaker is broken, they want to sell. And you see, it doesn't connect. It has the, the high filter and the low filter, yeah? High, low. And he placed the, uh, the speaker wire like this. Yes, on, on the uh, low filter. That means that you will not hear the tweeter. So when he tested the speaker out for me, I saw that he was <laughs> he was playing the bass on a quarter, so he thought I would not notice, but of course I noticed right away there was no... <laughs> yeah, my friends, yeah, my friends. And this is why I uh, could buy, buy... I bought these speakers very cheap because the guy thought they were broken, and once I saw this mistake he made, I... I, I placed the, 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 this thing in, in the right way, you know, and then he heard the sound, and he was, 
he was overwhelmed by the sound and he didn't understand what I did. But uh, okay, we already made the deal. We already made the deal, so I bought these speakers anyway. And uh, I didn't like the sound of these speakers. They lack bass, probably. These have more bass, but my friends, if you want vintage speakers so badly, um, yeah, come on. I mean, there are plenty more speakers to buy. I mean, I myself, I, I, I just skipped this one. I'm going to show you. These speakers, I bid this guy 200 euro. Yeah. And uh, this is the, uh, these are beautiful pioneers because my friends, beautiful pioneers because for 200 euro they are steel. The Pioneer GST7100. For 100, for, okay, he, have, he had a bid for 170. I, I mailed the guy, I said, I, I'm, I'm going to pay you 200 for these speakers. And then he agreed with me. But then I start thinking, well, this is almost two hours driving. No, this is two hours driving. It was two hours driving. I, because this is in Belgium. And not sure. Well, I was doubting if they fit in my car. But they would fit in my car, you know. And they were looking brand new. What's this? You know, no little children around them. Beautiful. And he told me all the tweeters were working. And what you see over here is a... Uh, sometimes they are, they are selling... This is a stand but the original one. And sometimes they are selling without these tents. And they, these speakers normally are selling for the double of the 200 euros or four to 500 euro. Pioneers, my friend, pioneers. So, but I skipped this one because I think, no, I bought too much lately. And, um, okay, 200 euro, I could buy them, but I skipped them. Beautiful speakers, beautiful, beautiful speakers. So, I would prefer to buy these ones instead because this is something special. It's very rare and it has that real vintage look. Probably they will not sound as good as, 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 as this one, but these are ugly. And I mean, they are good looking, better looking and, well, and, and nice, nice, uh, looking, nice looking, good looking speakers with a good sound, you know, but these ones, I do not like the, the form of them. No, I just don't like them, you know, that is, this is me personally. But, but, you see the, 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 the form of these speakers, I do not, six, six sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, they call them sixes. I do, I, I do not like, uh, I do not like the looks from these speakers, but yeah, 350 is not much. They are not very expensive, probably because they are not looking that good, okay? So this is the second speaker I want to show you, the Tannoy 615 too. Not sure what are your thoughts about these speakers. I mean, they are Tannoy's, and Tannoy's make pretty good speakers, yeah? Next speakers I'm going to show you are these speakers, the Tannoy Glen Air 10, yeah? And I never heard of these speakers the first time I saw them online. And this guy asked 2250 euro for them. Okay. It is very close to my house, five minutes driving. Yeah. And, uh, but to be 100% honest to you, I mean, this is how these speakers are looking. They are looking brand new. You know, probably the father bought the speaker new yeah and i do not doubt that these speakers probably will sound fantastic yeah i do not doubt but they are old speakers they're old speakers and if you want to spend 2250 euro i advise you to buy the tannoy dc 10 that's that's a modern tannoy yeah and uh with also the same price tag about 2200 in the Netherlands about 2200 2300 euro you can buy this modern one yeah and it doesn't have the vintage look but i am almost almost convinced that these speakers will sound better you know so uh, if you're gonna buy a speaker like this i mean you buy nostalgic you you buy vintage but uh the modern the modern tannoy will sounds better will make you more happy sound wise and 
and uh, you think these speakers are beautiful yeah they are not looking they are not bad looking speakers yeah but for 2250 euro if you're gonna go on google or on hi-fi shark there's none there's one for sale this is the one i just showed you and so all countries this is what what was sold since 2014 in seven years time uh probably this is maybe the same the same guy yeah maybe the same guy so canada one in germany for 2500 euro you see my friends i still i i just have a a male new male hi there looking for some advice uh from someone experienced do you think this unit is a fair price okay no i cannot answer you now so you can see in in seven years the last seven years there were only four persons who sold these speakers one in germany one in japan and probably this is the, or the same person probably probably they're both from canada so these speakers you know because nobody knows them you know and i i'm highlighting them now uh, how hard will it be to resell it i mean if i would if i'm interested in these speakers i would not pay more as 800 euro yeah I would not pay more as 800 euro because if I do not like these speakers and I place them on 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 Dutch eBay, you know, who is going to buy them from me? If I want to resell these speakers, I want my money fast. I don't want to wait one or two years, you know. You want speakers? You want to buy speakers? If you buy speakers, buy speakers. What are uh, uh speakers famous speakers you know like the gbl 100 i don't like like the sound but speakers like this with a with a big name uh, the more popular tannoys you know the more popular caps i mean they made beautiful vintage speakers too but a speaker like this i mean it is 10 times saved only it's 170 127 times viewed people do not this is a lot of money people are not interested in, in speakers without a name they do not have a big name because nobody knows them yeah nobody knows who this no or nobody of you i'm sure nobody of my viewers ever heard the sound of these speakers yeah never maybe probably you never saw these speakers because in, in here you can see in seven years time in hi-fi shark there were only four for sale around the world. That means these speakers are extra, extra ordinary, uh, uh, rare. Yeah. So, yeah. Are you gonna pay 2250 for for some Tannoy Glen Air 10 speakers because they are Tannoy and they are looking nice? No. You want speakers? You know, most most of the buyers buy speakers because of their fame yeah okay everybody's saying the speaker is good so i'm going to buy these speakers you know without even in, if, even know what is quality between the speakers i mean those gbls i mean come on man these are studio monitors the speaker people are using these speakers in their home and think they have good speakers because they are famous speakers you know but these speakers do not have fame at all they are only the only thing they have good is the, the name tanoi yeah, and they are looking good. But yeah, you're gonna pay 2250. I would say buy these ones. <laughs> buy for the same money, you can buy this Tannoy DC10T modern speakers. I'm 100% convinced that this sounds better than these oldies. 100% convinced. So, but they are not vintage looking, you know, and that's the thing. And uh, this is this is what I wanted to show you today. You know, completely four completely different kind of speakers, yeah. And um, 
Some people, I explain you, some people do not want, do not know what to buy, like this Polish guy who sold me that advanced acoustic set and uh, go to that, go to a shop, find a second hand shop who, who sells a lot of second hand uh, audio equipment. I'm sure there will be one close to your house, wherever you live in the world, you know, and um because if 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 you know we audio people we like to change because we are never satisfied and if you're gonna buy you know if you if you are if you are a person who likes to change your audio stuff never buy new my friends you know if you are a person you think okay i'm looking for one set and with that set i will minimum play it 15 years before i will buy or 20 years before i buy another set then you can buy new but if you like changing like I do, never buy new, my friends. Or a demo models. Demo models is also expensive, you know. Not sure what these speakers were when they were new. But uh, yeah, I did an offer. I did an offer. I did an offer. I did him a mail offer from 1700 euro. And at that moment, the highest bid was 1450. But now we already have a bit from 2150, so I can forget these speakers, can forget them. But yeah, for 1700 euro, if 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 he would sold them to me for 1700 euro, I had a very good deal. Yeah, I was not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm interested in these speakers too, but for 800 euro, not more. I mean, come on, nobody knows these speakers. Try to resell them. I just told told you the story, and he is only five kilometers from my house or no five minutes let me see what he is selling more maybe he, he is selling uh he is selling a nice amplifier because he is close to my house no he sells some uh i'm not, not sure what he is selling but uh a barbecue some some stuff over here so no 2250 for vintage speakers Nobody knows. Nobody knows this speaker. If, if, if it was a speaker, I mean, come on, man. Uh, everybody knows uh, Eclipse Heresy, for example. You know, everybody knows. Everybody wants to have Eclipse Heresy. Those one are famous speakers. Yeah, and the price was good, of course. Everybody knows the price from Eclipse Heresy second hand. You know, then, you know, it is easy to resell them. But you know. Maybe if I buy these speakers for, for, for let, let's say, 1,500 euro, 1,500 euro. Uh, try to resell it after a few months if you don't like the sound. This will be very hard, man, very hard. So do not buy speakers. Don't, you can buy them, but do not pay too much if you don't want to lose much money on them, you know. I mean, follow those rules, yeah, and uh, you will never lose much money but if you're gonna pay much money for these speakers only because uh, because you like them because they are they are beautiful they are beautiful they are beautiful speakers i mean they are not ugly they are vintage they are real vintage i mean come on man beautiful beautiful speakers and they are looking mint yeah yeah i don't know he even have the paper this guy is a neat guy. You can see that. You can see the floor on his house. This carpet floor, beautiful floor and clean. This is an older guy. So uh, the woman, the woman placed, of course, like most women, a vase on the speaker. So probably the, the speaker is damaged on top, probably. You know, because if you see speak of a picture like this, you know for 100% sure there will be a slight damage or maybe under the the vase maybe she she put some clothes maybe then it, it it isn't damaged but yeah if she placed that thing all the time over here you know that top from this picture will be damaged 100% 100% and then when you're going to watch this picture you 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 will say to the guy listen I'm not going to pay this price I'm going to pay 300 euro less because I have to repair. I, I have to go to repair guy to get that top in a mint condition again, you know, so you can get something of the price down, you know, because I'm 100% convinced that 
I just think it's damaged because of this face. No, no, I mean, come on, man. What, what is the beauty of a face above a speaker? The most stupid thing what you can do. But women like, do not like speakers. They think a speaker is a beautiful stance for my face. That's not, that's not the case. The, the, stu the stupid face, face will destroy the speaker all the time. You know, those ugly, uh, things what you get on top of your speaker because women always think, Hey, this is a nice thing for my face, you know, but yeah, you know, this is woman, you know, try to convince them that it's not a place for a face, you know, you don't want to quarrel with your woman about these things, but it is the truth, my friends. I mean, this guy have expensive, nice speakers, but the woman think it's, it's, it's a nice thing for a face. Yeah. Anyway, think about it, you know, maybe it is sound wise. No, sound wise. It, I don't think it is worth 2200, 2200 euro. Come on, man. This one, yes, this one is sound wise worth, I think. I never heard them. I never heard them, but I think they are very good speakers. Yeah. So with this video, long video again, I want to end this, uh, well, this video with this image because uh, my mouth is dry. I have to, I have to drink something and uh, I hope I can, I can upload a video for next Sunday because I will not be in the country. I will be abroad. Uh, try to uh, to upload it and uh, like an instant premiere, you know. But if you see that instant premiere, premiere, I do not think it is special, special. No, I just do that because I'm not here to upload a video Sunday. So probably that will be Sunday when that video will comes online, but I will be back Monday evening and then I will uh, upload the video again on Tuesday, you know, so, well, thanks for watching this video, place a thumbs up if you like it, and for now I say ciao, ciao.